there's multiple settings that you can use to cut the light, bring more light in. But one of the things you don't want to do is overexpose the object. And sometimes we all make that mistake. Um, what I did was I started playing around with all my settings, trying to get the best settings I possibly could. And then, you know, looking at it, um, I would talk to myself uh, as I would film it so I'd know what my settings were. So I could go back to those settings when I got, you know, the, the best settings for how, what I felt was the best settings for the particular um, wandering star. I don't want to say planet. Planet, it's like you planned it. Um, I didn't plan it. Um, I just took video of it. <laughs> um, but one of the things I, I want to say is that, you know, focus is one of your most important things. Um, and just by shooting these wandering stars, um, you know, I found that, you know, if you don't have it focused properly, you're, you're really just going to get this distorted object. And that's why I've kind of been harsh with some people when they put out videos of um, all the other stars and they're all out of focus and they're doing all these wacky things. Sure, you can, uh, I can go to Jupiter, or not Jupiter, but uh, Venus and, you know, adjust the focus and it's all wacky, it's all crazy looking, but then when I get it in the, in the um, proper focus, man, when it's in a half, half uh, crescent, like a moon crescent, it's like, whoa, okay, wow, all, all the videos that I put out before that were out of focus, I did, I went back and I deleted a bunch of my videos, I even deleted one that had over 25,000 views on it, which, um, I don't get that many views, um, so it was kind of hard for me to delete it, but I was like, you know, it's wrong, it's out of focus, I'm deleting it, um, so, um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, um, some of the comments that are coming in. I get them. I can read them. Um, but when I go to reply to them, they vanish. I'm also not getting notified of a lot of my comments. They're not coming in. I literally have to go back to the video and scroll down through all the comments and see who I didn't comment to. Um, I'm finding out that there's a lot of comments that I never received that are showing, but I never received them. And then there's comments that I received that I can't even reply to. And then when I, you know, I even go to my own channel, they're not there. It's like they're gone. Um, I don't know if that person deleted their video, their comment. But one, one of the funny things is, is there are always really great, great comments. Um, and then they vanish. Uh it's like I scratch my head and I go, what's up with that? Um, so, it, you know, if I haven't replied to somebody on, you know, one of the videos, which I always try to reply to everybody that makes a comment. Um, if I didn't reply to you, it's not that I was ignoring you or that I didn't appreciate the comment. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, and, and I do try to make it a point to comment, uh, reply to every comment. Um, good or bad um, and yeah I might delete some comments that are nasty and vulgar um, but uh, I don't delete all of them folks so you know even the trolls I let some of them just run their mouth and make themselves look stupid that's fine with me um, but I'm almost to the end of my rope folks uh, <laughs> I can't see myself going on so um, I, I have a couple more videos I'll put out, and then after that, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits. No mas, no more. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, being that this is something that I'll continue to do. I'll be continuing to do my observations, but making videos out of them, um, you know, having 7,000 subscribers and and getting, uh, you know, 30, 40 comments at the most is. It's just, uh, it's kind of heartbreaking for me. So I just think that I might want to just uh, take a break for a while, take a year off, uh, prepare myself for what's coming apparently because it ain't nice. All right, thanks for watching.